that's not a good introduction for you guys. What is up everybody? I Kyle Marco will be with you guys for this video today. And what is this video going to be about? Of course, that's going to be the number one question for any video out there in general. So what I have is a GoPro Hero 7 and GoPro Hero 6. You know, you guys might have a Hero 5, Hero 4, 3, 2, 1 session, anything. So anything would work. Uh, I don't know if Hero 1 is it. Does it? What can I use with this camera in my home in general? It's like house and, um, you know, office maybe, but I would prefer house. I have nine different shots that can be very useful for you guys for your filmmaking or, you know, be creative or maybe you have a different idea or help you build your ideas. I'm very excited to burn out the shot for you guys. Okay, I'm ready to provide you guys my shot. Let's have nine shots that you can use before you hear GoPro. Number one is shoes tying shot. So what I did, I have this camera, I put it under the chair or you guys can have it in front of you on the side or you know anything in general. But what I did, I put this camera under the chair and just show me tying my shoes. I just sit on the chair, tie my shoes and this video, you know, this shot can be very useful for you guys. Like it can be useful for a B-roll or some type of transition from maybe you're getting ready to go to a different place or you know something in general or you're just getting ready you know like and you can use it for something like you have a big day coming up like if you're at a hotel or maybe if you're about to go side diving you're just put under the chair getting ready to side dive just show off like you're getting ready the outfit with um you know the jumpsuit or something where to go I'm, I'm sure i'm pretty right with that let's go to number two my number two shot is head strap mount so yeah, that's pretty common. It's pretty original. You know, GoPro have a head strap mount or you know a hat clip or if you don't have any of those, you can just you know like if you have a winter hat and then you have a, like a you know hat that fold or whatever, you put the camera tuck in there, wrap it around. You can use that as well. So why do I use my head strap mount? Why would I use that? Though so what I would use that for is just to show your perspective. A lot of people don't see your perspective or whatever in general. But what about in my house? Why would I have people see what I'm doing in my house? Like if you're vlogging or whatever, anything in general, and you're just you know doing some work or what I did, I was um outside getting dinner ready for my family, and uh, I brought this turkey in from the grill, and I don't want to carry the turkey on one hand because the aluminum compartment or you know the bath or whatever they call. It's very hot. I don't want to touch it with one hand, so I use two hand and I put the GoPro on and just be ready and everybody would just be out there like Food ready or dinner ready. All right, so number three It's a drawer shot, cupper shot, refrigerator shot, wash machine shot, um, garbage can shot. You know where I'm going with this. Um, so what do you do? Your camera small enough, you just put it in the cupboard and you open it up and then you're just grabbing thing, your camera there, and you close it, and you're recording, or you reach for your, and you open the for your, just grab the food, or whatever, trash can, you're taking the trash out, the camera's underneath all that garbage bay, I hope, uh, I don't recommend doing that. that. Number four is, um, I call this a porn shot, which is, uh, if you guys have a picture, or you have a, you know, key kettle, or, you know, like, I have a, what I did, I have a key rig, and I have a little plastic container, I put the camera in there, and then I take it to the water, to the sink, and I fill it up with the water, and just put it in the coffee, but I wouldn't recommend having Carrie run wild with the cameras in there. It wouldn't be pretty good. So, yes, um, this shot would be great for me on, like, a morning routine B-roll, like, you're getting your coffee ready. Also, I think a better thing is, um, if you, you know, you have a coffee bean where you use a grinder, and... You, there's a lot of things you can do with that kind. I don't have it, but if you guys have it, that shot would be awesome for you guys. And I strongly, 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 strongly recommend. Do not recommend. Put this camera in a container or anything cup or whatever that barely fit the camera. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get out and you have to grab your slash hammer. <laughs> Number five. And um, this one is kind of... My favorite, you know, but I don't use this much, but I kind of consider it a cinematic shot or, you know, kind of cool B-roll, which I call this shot. It's a hidden camera shot. You sort of like hide your camera, like maybe behind 
something and then you have a little uh, you're like hiding behind the object like I put the camera behind the object and then maybe your object will be on the right side of the frame and you're focused on the people out there or you know their, whatever your family or your friends or anything like that what I did I did a a uh, couple different shots. I one I put it under the Christmas decoration, and you see the you know I think it's creative. It's pretty cool to have a, like a little leaf coming out of it into their frame, and you're watching the people. And I consider that you know like cinematic, or you can use a B-roll or something like that. But mostly you use it for prank. And my second shot I did. I put it on the TV speaker where you, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool because. You know, everybody's watching the TV and, you know, you can use it for your introduction or maybe your outro. Woo! Number six. We've gone pretty long way to go here to get number six. And number six, you know, it's the most original, most common, you know, a lot of people use it. But this never disappoint me when I see this shot over and over again because people are getting more creative. Number six is eat a shot. Uh, no. It's not the, um, you're not eating that shot and it's just showing what, what you do with the camera. What I did, I put it in the food compartment or, you know, you guys can put it in a bag of ship or something like that and you open it up and then you just, you know, like eat out of it with the food and that's like the most original shot, but it tends never to disappoint me and I strongly recommend you guys trying it out and, you know, be more creative with it. And also, do not put in the camera with uh, food that get greasy or, you know, that get a lot of crumbs. Number seven is the behind the object shot. What I mean then, if you guys have a book, you know, like a bookshelf or something like that, you have book, you know, sack right there, or food boxes sack right there or something like that. So I put the camera behind the food and I pull out the middle boxes or book or whatever and the camera would peep through between those between those two boxes and it just focus on me, you know, like what I'm doing and I put the container or the book back in there. Number eight, a lot of people know this kind of shot and I call this a time-lapse shot. Pretty common where you put the camera on the window. If you have a suction cup, which I strongly recommend, you just stick it right on the window and it would, great, it would work great. And you just put your camera out there and just, you know, watch the car go by. And it tends to be a great B-roll sequence or, you know, time lap or something like that. Or maybe a beautiful sky where you have no light or no town around you and you can watch the stars and go by you know if you guys have a hero 7 they're the new you know from hero set they're the new feature it's not pretty new but it's a new feature from hero set it's called time warp and this would be great for you guys to use because it speed up your your video by yourself but the bad thing is it gives you a fish eye view but if you guys have a proposed production you can fit the fish eye and make it more linear and I think time warp would be very useful for you guys. Unless you have a hero set, you leave your hero set out there and just record maybe 20, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or so and you use your post production, you speed up the video and it will just work as well too. We're on the last one. Last one, number nine, is a security camera shot. And you might have a hint what I'm gonna say. And what I use is the camera is pretty small enough. And whatever, if you have a you know a cupboard really high up there in the ceiling or whatever, and you just put your camera. What that's what I did. I just put the camera on top of the cupboard of the refrigerator. And you know it's kind of like the same as the hidden shot. It's just watching you know what we're doing. It would be more interesting if you're like very busy doing baking or doing a construction work or not construction work like if you're putting together you know some stuff like if you bought it from Amazon and you're putting it together you just put it up there and show your workflow which would be really cool if you're very busy you have more than one person or I mean more than yeah if you have a couple people with you and you know if you're make it fast paced if you're working on some project and you can crop up and then lower your opacity to you know like 50% and it show all the people working 
around there like a fast motion, you know. That is it, and I hope you guys find something very useful out of you know all the nine shots I provided for you guys. Unless you guys found a new shot coming out of it, you'd be more creative and beat me to it. You know, I have one more thing to say about the vlog, and I didn't, I can't, I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging this week, but I'm hoping I will because the weather hasn't been very nice with me. If you guys haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and I'll really appreciate it. If you have already, hit that bell button for the notification for the future video and keep update with me. And that should be it. I, Kyle Marco, will leave this scene so you guys can watch a different video or continue on whatever you guys are doing. Or I hope you guys will find a useful out of this video. And that's all I have to say for today.